Huh. Alrighty. It's kind of shitty, but it happens. Alright, sweet. Yep, it's back up, guys. And thank you for the follow, everyone who's just following right now. I appreciate it. I don't know what happened. I was talking to the guy. I, I suppose it makes sense, though, because this is a pretty big update, so there's going to be bugs here and there. But you got to give uh, Hello Games some credit. It's a pretty huge update. They just fucking revamped the whole damn thing. What happened? Um, I don't know. See, the stream was fine. The countdown was going on. I could see you guys typing in the chat. And you guys could still hear me, but No Man's Sky itself, the screen just froze. Yet the stream was still going on. It was, it was really weird. See, I wonder because if it's darker, I think it would be what works, I am cell. But welcome back, everybody. Okay, so I think we had. Okay. For the love of God, please don't crash. The buggy is drivable underwater. Yes, it is. It's extremely, it's completely drivable underwater. Uh, I built the Romer Geo Bay. Okay, so it's not a signal booster, but it, it's like a scan pulse, basically. Okay. We shall see, though. What's new with this update? They added buggies, and they've added a lot of other things. Things that we still have yet to explore. You can trade ships, we can collect ships, we can name our stuff. Uh, for example, I can name this gun right now. I, can, I named my uh, ship already. You can name a lot of things, you can trade things, and I wonder if you can collect freighters, that'd be kind of cool. You know, the background for the picture of No Man's Sky is red, I know, I know! Oh, did you confirm if buggies work on other planets yet? I took a small break. Um, I was... We're, we're working we're working on that. I want to see the upgrades that we can make in regards to that. So... Okay. Okay. So what we need to do... Oops. So we're gonna... We're just testing some things out with the buggy, because I think there's, like, some technologies that we can build that make it so that we can summon it somewhere or something okay keep up the good shit man yeah exactly we're just okay so we got that built we can make the gun again I think the gun didn't require too much I don't believe I'm not ready so I built this So, I think, let's see what we could use to build it. So all technology, we need carry it sheets. One. And apparently there's like a lot of things they added this up update, and man, I can't wait to explore it all. It's just so overwhelming right now, it's, yeah. <laughs> so we have the gun now. So right now, let's just go save. Because I don't want to just keep on building things over and over again. I like the darker nights that they added, though. It could also be just this planet as well, but they also added low flight. They added a lot. I love how the tech shows on the mod. I know. Man. Okay. 
wonder if we can have we can have jetpack boosters. I'm pretty sure we can get them. So Detect a sentinel that deposits on this world. These are exit signal, okay. So iridium. Okay. Okay, so we need to get our our Ardunium. So let's go in our buggy and drive around. Can we crash now that we have low flight? I think you can if you fly far and high enough. I know you can fly in freighters and stuff. Not freighters, yeah. Craters. So my buggy is down there somewhere. I have a feeling that if even if we can't build buggies right now, like not um what's this? Scan for deposits, scan for resources. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can scanner recharging. Huh, scan mode, yeah. So we have a f headlights. Oh no! I didn't mean to! Now I have to kill it. I don't know how I aim this thing though. I also can't see. It definitely feels like the Mako though. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, so what I was saying is, I think maybe with. In regards to buggies being teleported, maybe like there's a thing on planets that we don't know about yet. That are like the same thing where you have landing pads, but maybe you have like buggies where you can like link them up or something like that. No, it doesn't feel like the Mako. Like it's it's easy and controllable, but it just takes some bit to get used to. So scan for. We can just drive through everything. Oh. Oops. Third person view is nice though. Let's just get this plutonium. Oh, you know what's actually cool too, guys? If you haven't noticed, there's a little green bar uh, where my exosuit or my exo my multi-tool is. So it kind of tells us on on the uh, on the thing when it runs out, even though it used to say percentage. But now, can I now redeem my pre-order stuff without problems? Hopefully. It really sucks that it gave you problems, though, man. So plutonium is what powers. The engine, by the way, guys. How did you build the Geo Bay? Um, Bowman, uh, you have to build the terminal, the, the 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 vehicle terminal, and then you have to go to the space station. He'll send you to one where there's a Viking guy, and then after that, he'll just give you the blueprints for the thing. Have you tried other vehicles like the other one that hovers? Uh, no, I haven't. This is the only one that I know of. We're we're slowly getting. Uh, Oh, you, you did that? Um, you need. There's a section on your base, Bowman. Um, if you talk to the Viking, he'll tell you. He'll he'll give you the blueprint for the geometry or whatever it's called, the bay, the vehicle place, the garage. So how how far is that? Three minutes. That's all right. Sure beats walking, though. Park it and fly to another planet. Let's, let's test calling it. Yeah, I know, Flip. We'll park it back over there. 
I just want to get the resources to make sure, like, I... We can get a decent amount of upgrades on it to see if we can do things. So, do you need to have a land base? I'm not too sure. Um, I think you do, yeah. To make the... To make the, the thing? The actual place? Yes. But, we're trying to figure out if you can actually teleport it somehow with upgrades. It's really laggy right now. It's actually pretty fun though. I like driving it. You get hurt by whip plants still in the car for some reason. <laughs> I'll just go fuck myself then, I suppose. Hopefully it's not lagging for you guys. You know, it's kind of chugging for me, but... The buggies are pretty fun. And L2 is drifting. This is a handbrake. You know what we could do too? Is we could pro. Ah, oh, it's lagging. Jesus Christ. What, Beezlebub? Oh, there's the last animal here. Plants attack the through the buggy. I know, I know. It's, it's messed up, but. It's a thing that happens, I suppose. Oh, so everything we save, so people can come and show you, see your planets when people, like... Die. Thank you. I wonder. You know what I wonder? If we can find any crash buggies. Okay, thanks to this update. Nanite clusters. 38... Nanite clusters. Did you click look the iridium yet? Nope. But we're going on the way there so far. We're uh, we're driving there, Beezlebub. I want to try avoiding any falls that might make us get stuck. Otherwise, it's a long walk back. Whoop. Hey, stream. Throw this guy a follow, cost you nothing. He has remained true to the game from the start. Well, thanks, Scorpio. That means a lot. And I welcome everyone who who's joining us right now. Uh-oh. I wonder what happens if you do... Enzo, thank you for the follow. Oh. Oh. Okay. So until we get a jetpack, we have to be careful. And welcome to the stream. I wish you could allow your vehicles to be used on other planets. It kind of defeats the purpose of creating vehicles if you can't spawn them from. I Can you run over the materials if it gives you? Uh, we're trying to find out if there's upgrades that allow the vehicles being used on other planets. We're trying to find that out, and, uh, Jenner Size, welcome to the stream, and welcome, and, uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. But, we're trying to find out, we're, we're doing a quest to see if there's upgrades that allow us to use the buggy on other planets. We're really hoping there is, because I feel like you, you could, you could use it on a freighter. Or something. <laughs> 